Now, I have got the famous, the um, very, very famous uh, Barbara Taylor Bradford there. She has written not 10 books, not 20 books, stop me, not 25, higher than 25, how many books? 30. 30 books, and they're all listed uh, inside her new book, uh, which uh, comes out today, The Cavendon Women by Barbara Taylor Bradford. But now, Barbara, you want other women to follow in your footsteps. How are they going to do that? Well, we've created a competition, HarperCollins, my publishers, and the Sunday Times. It was launched yesterday, and we want young women to enter, and we've already got entries, already, mm -hmm. which is wonderful. I want to inspire young women who want to write to do it. Um, I love women warriors. I love to have in my books women who go out and do things. And the competition is to encourage them to write a short story a uh, thousand words um, to use their imagination and we are using the theme of friendship which I think is tremendously important to young women at f from 11 to 18. I remember I loved my girlfriends but also I think if they can aspire to something it gives them a chance to have a voice and to maybe make that a career. Mm -hmm. Well, can I just give the voice? <laughs> Not that they need a voice. These, these two here. These two well, here. I mean, we find it hard enough to write scripts, oh, never yeah. mind to sit do, down do, and write books. Do you know what I did yesterday? What? I wrote started to write a book yesterday because I had it in my mind that I was going to write a book. So I finally sat down, got the laptop out, and started writing down some thoughts. But what I find really hard is it's almost like homework. The thought of writing a book yes. is very, very difficult to sort of sit down and do the graft where you actually get the words down on the paper. Homework. I mean, that's like a mental hurdle you have to get well, over. Well, you know, I, I, one of the reasons I, we thought this up, myself and a few others, the competition, is because I was 10 when I wrote a short story. I'd written many from, from the age of seven. And my mother sent this one into a, a children's magazine here in England, and they didn't only publish it, they paid me 10 shillings yes. and sixpence. And I thought, if I could do it at 10, there must be other girls out there longing to write but don't know how to start. They do get it as an e-book. The winner will have an e-book of her sh short story, and they'll get a writing, master writing class with me and some others. It's Ellen Mills of the Sunday Times is the co-chair of the competition. And it's, I think it's, it's a challenge mm. and it gives them a chance, you know? How, like you how do said, you start? How do you, do, well, what would your advice be? So they'd write a plan, they have an idea in their head. How do they start? Well, I think book? they have to write about things. I think any writer really has to know about things they know, so we chose yes. friendship. So they've got to think up a story. It's got to be imaginative. Yes. It's got to grab the reader. I think they, I've given them tips, which is to do a little outline, to know what you're going to write about, to try and grab the reader with something unique, yeah. and to get emotion and feelings into but it. But you, you see, a lot of what you do will be observational. You, there's probably not an experience wasted on you. You take notes, you watch people, you see how they interact with each other. But also take this new book. It's set in 1926. So there's historical research involved yes. in that as well. Now that's really like double, not only is that English homework, <laughs> that's, that's homework. history homework yeah. there as well. Yes, but you see, People say, I lead a lonely life. I say, no, it's a sor <laughs> solitary <laughs> occupation. It's not lonely because I've got all those characters yeah. in, in my head. And a lot of women warriors, well, four women warriors in this book, which um, four women who helped to save Cavendon, yeah. uh, which is about to maybe go down. And it's the second book in a series. I'm starting a new one. You see, unlike you, I really, I'm dying to get back to my writing, having not written mm. since November. I finished that in November, oh, edited it in December, so I'm anxious. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I want other girls, other young women to have a chance to have a voice. And finally, can you write anywhere? Can you write on your mobile phone, in your memories? Or we've we've only got 20 seconds to answer. Uh, no, I think you've got to, well, yes, you can write anywhere, but uh, it has to come in legible to us. Yeah. Well, long may you continue, Barbara. It's always a, a pleasure talking to you and to realise the journey that you have had from that 10-year-old who won that 10-shilling prize <laughs> yes. uh, right through to what you do today. Uh, thank you very thank much you indeed. Thank you Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Barbara Taylor Bradford, The Cavendon Women, uh, is at a bookshop near you uh, right now.
We will go to the break. When we're back, we're discussing the top stories of the day. Don't go away.